Oh, it's it's so early. I I'm so tired. I oh I it's ten a.m. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I couldn't get up that early to watch the race. And call me a not very good fan or not, I don't care. I am very old and I need to sleep. This time last year, I was on Twitch Sports and I got up at half four in the morning to prepare to stream, to live stream. And all the times I used to get up as a teenager to watch everyone, I think I've done my, I've paid my due now. I deserve a lie in. I haven't looked at anything on social media. I've not even touched my phone because I just know that it will just be all given away. I'm going to watch as if it's just happened live, which it kind of has a little bit. I mean, it has only just finished, so. The Australian Grand Prix is never a, a, a very interesting race, to be honest. It's always a bit... Jensen used to be absolutely amazing at Australia. You've got to put your money on Max winning. I'd even go and say maybe George P2, because the... Mercedes look really on it. Maybe Hamilton P3. I don't know. I feel like they're stronger than Aston Martin at the moment. Well, at this track anyway. Yeah, maybe a 2 3 for Mercedes. Three lights, four, five, and it's lights out. Away we go. No way. George has got him. Jesus Christ, was he napping? Alonso's there with Hamilton. Oh my God, it's three wide. It's three wide. Hamilton's going for Verstappen. Oh, he's there. Oh, Charles. Oh, no, Charles. No. Oh, did he get tagged? Was that Lance? Oh, Stroll had nowhere to go. That is so unfortunate. But, you know, where else was Stroll meant to go? Why is Max crying about Lewis pushing him off? Lewis didn't push him off. I think we should look over 2021 and question that comment, Max. What a phenomenal start by George and Lewis. A 1-2. That was a brilliant restart from George. Hey, I tell you what, Alex isn't doing that bad, is he? He's six. That Williams has really stepped up. Oh, God, I've literally just jinxed him. He's gone on oh, me. Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry, man. We've got to have a safety car. What lap is this? Oh, he's just lost the rear, hasn't he? Russell Pitts, science pits. Why are we red flagging it? Gravel? Get your brushes out, love. Get your brush out and just brush it away. What the? Why is it a red flag? Hamilton has got a way better start than Verstappen. Oh, Hamilton's gone. Alonso's right up his rear, though, bruv. Jo oh, my God, George. Watch, Lance. He likes to knock people off. Oh, Nick DeFries went flying. Hulk's in P7. Perez is 16. For anyone watching, he started from the back. Oh, he's going to overtake him, isn't he? Right round the outside. No. Jesus Christ. Christ! That oh my god, that Red Bull with the DRS. Mercedes have got no answer. Jesus Christ! What a move! My heart was in my mouth when he did that. I wouldn't even do that in lobbies, bro. Gas is having an absolute brilliant race. P four, but George is about to overtake him. Round the outside. Oh, uh, it's done. He's got Lad Stroll behind him as well. George is on fire. No! Oh my god! Wow, is that's a PU, isn't it? Gone. Very rare do you see and me say it is engine do that. <laughs> Max went off! No way! Rare, rare mistake. Oh no. Oh Kevin. <gasps> oh, you're so lucky you didn't hit him behind. Man! Did the sun get in his eyes or something? What was that? Are they gonna? Th I mean, that's it now, isn't it? It was the sun's fault. Blame the sun. Oh, they've red flagged it. But surely there's no time. Are we gonna have like a two lap shootout? Third time restart. Let's go. 
Oh, Verstappen's cut over. He's covered Hamilton. He ain't having it, bro. He ain't having it. No! Alonso! Oh my god, the Alpine! Oh my god, there's two Alpines off! Oh my god, did they just hit each other? Lance Stroll's gone straight on! He's off on his holiday! They've red flagged it! They've red flagged What the f was that? That was like open lobbies, bro! These are Formula One drivers! This Alpines have took each other out! What? That's it then. That that's done, right? Oh, Science has got to get a penalty for that, mate. Science like took a lot Alonso out. I mean, he started all of that absolute chaos. What happened to the Alpines? Oh my God, Pierre just did not even look. Like, what do they do now? Because. The rule book states, unless they've, oh, this is what they're saying now, unless they have completed a sector, if they were to restart this race, but surely they're not going to restart this race. Like, the safety car would take them through the lap and they'd just end there. Once Max went over the line, race ended, done and dusted. But they would go from the grid in which they started with, or restarted with in this case, so we would have Alonso back up in third. I mean, God, if that's the case, Hulk is in fourth at the moment. But they're not, they haven't completed a sector. So therefore they would revert back. Why are they, why are they restarting it? Why are we going under safety car? Why are we, why are we doing this? We are literally going to cross the line and finish the race. There is absolutely zero point to this other than it being a spectacle. Science has got a five second penalty, so he's going to be down in 12. And Max Verstappen wins the closest finish potentially this season. <laughs> Norris P6, Piastri P8, brilliant performance, valuable points. I don't think they're, they're that far off Ferrari right now. It was good to see Merck at the beginning, like it kind of really got, oh, 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 but there's no way on this planet that they're as fast as Red Bull and they have such a way to go. I did kind of feel like they'd be good here but such a disappointment for George. I don't agree with the first red flag, I don't think it was necessary, get your brushes out, clear it up and let's go. Obviously the second red flag was justified because of Magnussen's car and all the debris and a wheel and all that stuff. That restart was insane. It was like F122 open lobbies. They went back to the the restart they didn't complete sector one it's in the rules and unfortunate for drivers like hulk who would have got p4 i mean he, he no he would have got p3 jesus christ he'd have been on the podium i know that science is trying to appeal his penalty for me it's a slam dunk but i have to say there was a very similar incident with logan Sargent, in which he rear-ended someone didn't take them out for lobster afterwards and didn't get a penalty. So as much as the FIA have been quite consistent this weekend, they've also been a little inconsistent. But as far as it's concerned, they have adhered to their rule book, and that is what we've wanted for a very, very long time. And this weekend, they did it.